What's up guys, welcome back to an another video. Today is going to be quite of a big video and there's a certain topic that I wanted to discuss with you about playing cards. So what is exactly the difference between USPCC, Taiwan, and Cardamoni decks? I'm going to cover all of that in this video. I'm not going to be talking about expert playing card company or any of those other card companies because I don't have any of those kinds of decks to really explain how that certain stock and finish like, feels in the hands. But that is what I'm mainly going to be discussing with you today is about stocks and finishes from each of those three companies that I just listed. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Also, I should mention that I'm going to have some timestamps at the bottom of this video in the description. If you want to see a certain um, playing card manufacturer and just want to know more about that specific company instead of learning about all of the uh, playing card manufacturers, I'm going to explain in just a second. I'll just go down to the bottom of this video and just go click on one of the three main factors that I just mentioned. So now we can start the video. Okay, so the first uh, playing card manufacturer I'm gonna be talking about first is USPCC, which I'm sure the majority of you watching this video already know what USPCC is and uh, what they do, how stocks and finishes feel, but those of you who don't really know much about it, I'm gonna explain it right now. If you have handled a bicycle deck, just a classic standard bicycle deck, you will notice that there's some sort of roughness on the edges and that's what's really iconic about USBCC is because of that roughness. A simple way to get rid of that rough roughness is to just uh, rub it on your pant leg and that would get some of that roughness off and just make it better um, for you to handle. Also they have a wide variety of stocks and finishes classic bicycle stock is, well classic bicycle stock, it's more of a thicker kind of stock. I'm sure if you handled a classic bicycle deck, you know what that feels like. It's more thicker and it lasts longer than any of the other stocks I'm about to mention. That's one of my favorite parts about the classic stock. Now there's this other thing that's called crush stock. Now it's more flexible whenever you're spring, when you're doing springs and stuff like that. It makes it easier for you to handle. So whenever you open up a pack of cards that are crush stock, it should be easy to spring and stuff like that. Whereas on classic stock decks, you have to break them in for you to really spring them and do pressure moves. Um, that's, I like crush stock, but the only thing is it doesn't really last that long. And if you do springs over time, like for a week, start to give in and start to deform. Now onto finishes, like I mentioned briefly earlier, uh, the air cushion finish, that's the classic um, pair with the classic stock. But there's also this linen finish which is on the tally hodex if you have never handled one of them. Um, they feel really great in the hands once you broken them in. They last quite a bit of time. I like the linen finish better than the air cushion finish, to be honest. Some of the most well-known brands such as Orbit, Anyone, and Fontaine, they all use USB-C. Well, Fontaine has a few exceptions, which I'll get into later in the video, but yeah. So that's pretty much it as far as USB-C. Alright, so I'm going to be talking about Cardamundi. Um, now this manufacturer hasn't been printing cards as long as Bicycle has, but apparently Cardamundi bought out USBCC, so I'm not going to even get into that. Cardamundi has been really known for well stocks and do crazy kind of stuff. So they do crazy tug boxes, they have great stocks, great finishes. If you've never handled a Cardamundi deck before, I really highly suggest that you should go and buy a Cardamundi deck to really experience the stocks and finishes because I'm sure a lot of you only experience USPCC decks, but I really recommend trying out some other decks besides USPC uh, printed decks. So I have three decks that have three different stocks and finishes. 
the first one that I have is the first Cardamundi deck that I got was the Cube Line playing cards designed by Bass John, really incredible cardist. This is has a thing that's called True Linen B9 Finish. Now this is a very unique kind of different feel to it and a little bit different look to it. If you have noticed on USPCC decks they have little dimples or little air pockets which allow you to easily like, spread fan all the above on the deck. Cardamundi can do that with this certain stock, but it just looks slightly different. And you can see from this angle that I'm showing you, it, you can see that it looks slightly different. It has more like squares instead of pockets, but you can still do really great fans and all sorts of stuff with that. I'm not trying to discourage you, but this look is different from usual decks. That is more of a thicker stock, so it's kind of like the classic stock um, from USPCC, only for Cardamundi, so that's true linen B9 finish. Then, now there is this thing, it's called Slimline Stock, which also still has the true linen B9 finish. And I only have one deck with that stock, and that's the Odyssey Elite deck. Also, you can see from the video it has really, it has a really great tuck case. It's very different, um, very abnormal, but I love it a lot. You can see that it still has that different texture on it, but it still handles really, really great. Now, another thing that I've noticed that differs from USB-C is the edges are really, really smooth. When you first open up a uh, part of the deck, it the edges feel really, really smooth. That's the one thing I like about Cardamundi. And whenever you first open them, uh, especially for a slimline stock, it feels broken in right away. You can start doing springs and all pressure moves and all that. Now there's this other stock, which personally is my favorite from Cardamundi. It is this D9 Square stock. I'll confirm this on the screen. But this has been, that has been the greatest stock I've ever held in my hands from Cardamundi. Cardistry Touch is most remarkable for using that kind of stock, but unfortunately, the company that was making that went bankrupt, so we don't get that stock anymore. But they have been using um, those decks, such as the um, Origin, the Pulse, and Pulse Blue, and also the Derive. And that was the last deck to ever have the stock. Now there was one other deck that was called the Diva French Edition and it did have that same exact stock. But this one just felt really, it's really thin. Also really smooth edges on the sides. It felt great in the hands and it lasts a long time. It felt really great in the hands. I wish I could just have more of these kinds of decks with that kind of stock. But unfortunately, like I said, they went bankrupt. So yeah, that's pretty much it for card menu. All right, so this is going to be the last uh, playing card manufacturer of this video. So this is my favorite, my personally favorite Taiwanese playing cards. So there are two manufacturers in Taiwan. One is Hanson Chin and also um, Dex Playing Card Company. Lotus and Hand made several decks from Dex Playing Card Company. Now, I love Taiwanese decks a lot. Personally, I like them a little bit more than USPCC. I'm not trying to offend anybody whatsoever, but personally, those are my favorite because they, all decks, all stocks and finishes last a really long time. Now, my favorite kind of stock is the, look, it's the luxury stock, which is like very springy and almost just feel broken in when you first open up a deck and it's just very springy you can do anything it just you can fan easily with the finish called a uh, magic finish yeah i don't think they they don't have the luxury stock anymore but they do have i'm pretty sure they do have the magic finish i'll also confirm this on the screen and there's also this legendary finish which is absolutely remarkable that with the luxury stock is awesome. The decks that I can remember, uh, the Odyssey, Odyssey for real, I know that for sure. 
I'm not sure about any other deck. Luxury with legendary finish, uh, the Ventus playing cards, um, the Odyssey Aether edition, the Scythe playing cards, and I think that's it. And also, they have a classic stock, which is actually think thicker and stiffer than usual on um, USPCC decks. But I personally like this stock a lot because one, it lasts a long time, and two, it's great for packet cuts. Not necessarily for fans, but packet cuts, yes. If you've handled the Echo V ones, they handle absolutely phenomenal and actually won deck of the year 2019. I highly recommend trying out some Taiwanese decks. Get one and try it for yourself because I think it will really broaden your view of more different playing cards, not from USPCC. Some decks that are really affordable. Uh, the three Odyssey decks that are available right now are the Odyssey Nova. Uh, it's a classic stock with a magic finish. Feels really good in the hands. The Aether with a Luxury Stock, Legendary Finish, and then the Odyssey Boreal, Luxury Stock, Magic Finish. Those decks handle really, really great, and at an affordable price. So remember how I mentioned about Fontaine cards printing over at USBTC over that section a little bit ago? They actually did print in Taiwan a few times, so they printed the uh, Fontaine Alka Berries, which I do have right now. Um, the Fontaine Pineapples, the, uh, the Raspberry, and the Orchata. So those are the four decks from Fontaine that are printed from Taiwan as of right now. That's what I think right now. Uh, Hands and Chain came out with a new stock that was called the Vintage Stock. And I'm pretty sure that's what this stock is for the uh, Aqua Berries. It, it feels really, really great in the hands. I wish there were more. I wish I could buy like two parts of them. I love them so much. But yeah, that's it for Taiwan. If you made it this far in this video, thank you so much. I just really wanted to thank you for watching almost this entire video. Uh, I really hope you learned something from the information that I gave over from those three playing card manufacturers. Uh, what I really high rec highly recommend is buy a deck from Taiwan, not like literally from Taiwan, just a Taiwan printed deck, and also a Cardamundi deck. Now I know what you're thinking, USPCC doesn't get better than that. Well, if you buy one of those, I think you might change your mind. I'm not trying to say that USBCC is bad. It's really great. I'm gonna say that. It's really, really great. But I really recommend just try to try something different other than USBCC. Get out of your comfort zone. But um, that's all I have for you today in this video. Uh, I hope you liked it. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. It really means a lot. And I'll see you next time. See ya.